Southern Baton Rouge restaurant got its start way back more than 55 years ago on Government Street. And the founder was a guy named Jay. It all began on April 1st of 1954 when Jay Prothrow remodeled a small hot dog stand on Government Street and opened his doors to the first Jay's Barbecue, offering takeout orders and a car side service with one of the most original barbecue flavors. I've got a recipe from a friend of mine who was, who was in business in Lake Charles at the time. Uh, we had to change the recipe up a little bit as far as flavor is concerned, change the uh, sauce a little bit, uh, keep so it would be too strong, and so it would be just about right for them, so the, the kids could eat it as well. Jay tried out several other Government Street locations before moving into an old laundromat on the corner of Government and Glenmore Avenue. Jay simply restored the paint and began serving his famous barbecue beef po' boys. One LSU professor who was a, somebody we knew personally took the rest our sauce to LSU and tried to get it, find out what was in the recipe. He couldn't, they, they couldn't, they never came up with it. <laughs> Which was okay, we didn't care. In the 1970s, Jay's number one chef took over the shop, maintaining the same charm of the original restaurant and the exact same recipe. There was a lot of requests for the recipe we even have folk ask, uh, why don't we bottle it and sell it? Uh, there's quite a demand for it. The LeBlanc family has expanded in Jay's restaurant, but has never messed with that secret recipe. One of the things my father instilled in me was, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And so because we've had success over the years with the sauce, we just left it as it is. In 1978, Jay's Barbecue on Sherwood Forest Boulevard was opened by Jay's daughter, Connie, and her husband, Rick Newton and with the help of Jay himself, they've carried on that long-standing tradition of sweet, but still sour, barbecue beef, served on a soft, but still crispy bun. If we didn't have the sauce, then we wouldn't be here. We're not gonna change anything, and we're not gonna open anything new, or whatever, we're pretty much gonna sit right here. The future of Jay's barbecue in Sherwood Forest could land in the hands of Jay's grandson. Rich has had a part-time job at Jay's since he was just a kid. A lot of people have accused us of putting uh, um, something in it to keep them coming back, but uh, I will neither confirm nor deny that. Changes to Jay's barbecue have been very slight over the years. New items have been added to the menu, and one addition to the Sherwood Forest Jay's was the add-on of a drive through window. Uh, how do you like Jay's? Jay's is the best barbecue in Baton Rouge, bar none. The, the barbecue sauce to me is better than anybody's barbecue sauce. Uh, the way they do the bread and everything, I just think it's the best po' boy sandwich around. I've never eaten one any better. Jay's barbecue is always enticing to that first time barbecue taster, but once anyone's tried it, the crowds just keep coming back for that one of a kind barbecue beef po' boy. You have three generations that have been working in this business and you combine that with the, the work ethic that they have, and you add an excellent product, and you have a formula for success. What makes it special? Oh, well, special is the food. The food quality is great, and, and the service is outstanding. We absolutely love that, and you can't get it anywhere else. Good people can make up for bad food, but great food will never make up for bad people. I love it, it's great. I don't think you can get any better than, than that poor boys. I really enjoyed my meal. I enjoyed all of it. <laughs> this is the famous Jay's barbecue beef program. You can dip each bite and then you just dig in. And they're so tangy and so sweet. It's like no other barbecue sauce. Absolutely delicious. Okay, let's go to the chart. Jay's Barbecue is a highly rated family restaurant. Food is always served fresh for takeout or eat in. There's a kids menu and it's available for party rentals. Prices range from five to $10 and credit cards are accepted. The hours are Monday through Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. and everything is prepared fresh.